Being at a sleepover be like. <laughs> Guys, me and your mom are trying to sleep. Okay, so today I'm going to be showing my brother a video of what birth looks like. He's already going to learn it in school, so why not? All right, Blake, so I'm going to show you this video, and you're going to watch it. What's this? Uh, it's a video of childbirth. What's childbirth? Push play. Ew. Is that an alien? What is that? It's not an alien. What is it? She's having a baby. I didn't tell you had to look at it that close. That's literally how you were born. You came out of mom like that. That's exact. Stop playing games. Get up. Blake. Blake! Alright, so today I'm gonna be confronting my little brother. What do you want? So I heard you kissed a girl. No, she kissed me. Yeah, the woman loved me. Don't you have a girlfriend? <laughs> no. Okay, and why not? Because my teacher won't date me. Okay, really weird thing. So I just went to the dollar store to get tissue paper for my boyfriend's Valentine's Day gift. So I'm standing in line, social distancing, and a man and a woman are standing in front of me without a mask. Sweet, you guys don't have to wear a mask as long as you stay in your area. This guy's like, yeah, so uh, I can bench like 45. The lady at the register is like, beep, oh, that's cool. And he goes, oh, I'm also really fast. Watch, sprints to the other end of the store. I was like, man, I really wish you could see how impressed we all are, but unfortunately you can't because our expressions are hidden behind a mask. Pack it up, Turbo. So the man and the lady go outside. I don't know if you guys have ever seen any of those TikTok videos where they're trying to teach you how to hit on someone and it's clearly a joke. This guy comes back in the store. We're all like, why is this guy back in the store? Comes back into the store, steps over the social distancing line. So now he's in my bubble. He looks at me dead in the eyes and he goes, Hey. In the moment, it was not funny to me. It was like, what are you? It was like the most secondhand embarrassment I've ever had in my entire life. Oh, hey. <laughs> Didn't see you there. You guys should eat lunch with me. Featuring Duncan. I have not been feeling myself. And I haven't been for the past couple of days. But, freaking dang it. I've just been insecure about myself. My skin had a breakout. It's covered by makeup. I was bloated. Ah, frick. They burnt my bagel. Oh, it's so burnt. It's fine. I'm fine. Recently, I just wanted to hide my face from social media. But then I got to thinking, I shouldn't just present myself only when I feel good. This burnt bagel slaps. And I shouldn't just present myself when I look my best. Because that's deceiving and exhausting. So truth is, I have felt like crap recently. And I figured I would just tell you how I felt. And I figured that we should eat together. And if you need some encouragement, because life freaking sucks sometimes, feel free to DM me on Instagram. Let's share some positivity with each other. Bye! I love you! Have a good- Ah! Bye, I love you, have a good day. My boyfriend and I have been dating for forever. And when I say forever, it's been like seven months. But he still hasn't proposed. I decided that I would propose. And it's going to be the best proposal ever. First things first, I need the best outfit. Let's go thrifting. Okay, so this is what I got. Jean skirt. Check out these kicks. Yeah. This bag. And I got this cute like black top. Do you like it? That I am very... Nervous. Okay, so I've arrived. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let me show you. Okay, I have a surprise for you. Okay, okay. I've loved you for years. I've only known you a few months. Sorry, I'm nervous. I, I just want to kiss you right now, and you remind me of my dad. I remind you of your dad. No, 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 no. you don't remind me of my dad. I just. Um. I, don't even, I don't even know what I'm saying. I don't even know what I'm saying. I don't know what all that was about. Y'all wanna know something weird about your boyfriends? Show him this video, make him do it, it is whatever. Watch his reaction. I guarantee you, one time in his life or another, he has used his ball skin in a shower to collect water like a cup. Watch his reaction. And don't lie, bro. Don't lie. So when my boyfriend sings, I just really like to hype him up uh, to make him feel good. Baby. Okay. Uh huh. Yes. Let's hear it. Yes! Matthew, let's go! Yes! Yes! Let's hear those vocals! Okay! Yeah! Yes! 
So recently everyone's been DMing me on Instagram saying, Tabitha, where did you go? What have you been doing? You guys remember all those bad dates I went on and I declared that men are stupid and I would never go on another date? Well, I decided I would have the ultimate hot girl summer and travel to all 50 states. I packed all my things and made it all the way to Utah alone. Well, I was scrolling on TikTok and saw this guy TikToker. Dang, you are hot. So I DM'd him on Instagram and two days later I booked a flight all the way to Florida to meet this stranger. I stayed in Florida for a week. He took me on the best date of my life. I, I pretty much fell in love. I went back home to Missouri. Fast forward, this man met my parents. I ran away from home and moved to Florida. And now we're traveling the world together. Together. My entire life changed all because I swiped on TikTok. <clears throat> Tinder could never. So I was at the airport standing in the line at Starbucks and a guy walks up and stands in front of me and goes, hey, can I cut here? I was like, no. So this guy stares at me for a second and he's like, what? Do you not know me? So turns out he's some guy on TikTok who has 150,000 followers. <sighs> now, baby, before you get ahead of yourself, I have 8 million followers on TikTok and people don't know me. Addison Rae has like 80 million and some people don't know her. Charlie D'Amelio has 80 bajillion trillion and some people still on earth don't know her. Yes, TikTok is big. But being TikTok famous is not a big deal. Humble yourself, my guy. You're not as hot as you think you are. <laughs> now go stand in the back of the line with every other dark-headed, curly-headed boy who wears Air Forces and makes thirst traps for their 12-year-old audience. My boyfriend has been going on a lot of business trips. So today he took me to the store and we're going to go get my first pet. Okay, so my boyfriend sat me down and said that we had to have a serious talk. And I was like, shoot, what did I do? Is he going to break up with me? Turns out, he just had to tell me that he keeps finding my hairs in his pants. <laughs> so my boyfriend just asked me if I could please stop shedding because he's tired of pulling my hairs out of his butt. Uh, okay. Question. Has your mom ever told you that she has a bad vibe about one of your friends? She's like, nah, this one just isn't right. Well, my mom told me that about one of the girls I brought over for the first time. She's like, Tabitha, there is something off about this girl. I was like, mom, stop, be nice. Jamie is cool, trust me. Yeah, I should have listened to her. Jamie, you know who you are, ended up choking our dog because it was barking in the middle of the night. Isn't that just, <laughs> wow. People are crazy. Not only did our friendship end, but so did my dog's life. So I just moved to Florida and I figured, hey, let's go to the beach. And I passed by a group of like high school boys. And one of them waved at me. Then one of the guys nudged the dude who just waved at me and he said, dude, you like guys, don't you? Then the guy who waved at me points at me and says, is that not a boy? Do I look like a boy? I mean, I know they're not there yet, but I am a late bloomer. But I'm a girl. And for all of you guys who keep DMing me on Instagram asking me where my boobs are, I don't know. So my boyfriend and I were just at the pool and he had to get up to go inside to use the restroom. While he was gone, a group of like 20 year old boys came and sat next to me and they were just being very flirtatious. Then my boyfriend came out from the bathroom and sees them and instantly starts being like territorial. You know how men are. The point is he ran them away because he was acting all big and hard. But literally not even 20 minutes later, we go back to my apartment and he starts taking a shower. Tell me what he's listening to. <laughs> Dope. <laughs> Here's a fun story of the day. In middle school, my best friend and I made a page on Instagram called Love Quotes. We would just always post love advice. The account actually became pretty popular. One day, the guy I liked in middle school, he followed the account. Then he DM'd the account and said, you seem like a love expert. I need advice. He told me that he liked a girl at his school and wanted to know how he could make her his girlfriend. So I'm like, okay, send me a picture of her. And he did, and it was one of those jerky popular girls from my school. So I got an idea. I replied back and said, since I'm a love expert, I can tell you now, she doesn't like you. He replied and said, I really want a girlfriend. So I told him, you should go out with a girl with brown hair, green eyes, and a pink shirt. He replied and said, I don't know who that is. Lastly, I replied and said, I am the love expert. You will know when you see her at school tomorrow. The next day, I wore a pink Nike shirt to school. You know, brown hair, green eyes. Then during recess, he invited me to come play four play or four square. He also invited me to go to the movies that weekend. We held hands. That's how I finessed my crush into liking me back. So yesterday I accidentally put in two tampons. So I had two tampons in my hoo-ha. I started freaking out and I was going to go to the ER because everyone told me I should go to the ER. And I feel like all the doctors probably have something a little better to do than extract a tampon from my vagina. So I decided that instead I would go to the vet. 
So I went to the vet. The vet like held me down and put me in a kennel. I'm kidding, I'm literally kidding. But that is not even the point on why I just made this video. All I'm saying is, that is creamy. The point of this video is to tell you that I have a new YouTube video, so the link is in my bio if you wanna go check it out. Also, I make my Alexa play um, rain sounds. So I just sit in my house while it thunders and it's sunny outside. Anyways. So I've come to the conclusion that, that I think I'm just really sad. I'm no longer going to be sad. I am not going to let anything get in my way. Nothing is going to get in the way of my happiness. What is this? Okay, so I have a genuine question. Also ignore this, I have so many blackheads. If you're a doctor or a nutritionist or someone in like that field, do at this and answer this for me, please. Naturally, your body needs things from food, right? And obviously based on like your weight and your height, your body needs more or less of something than someone else. I eat meat, I get protein. I eat an orange, I get vitamin C. I go to the beach, lick the ocean, there's my salt for the day. You also get energy from food, right? But, but if my body is just extracting the nutrients it needs out of these foods, what's the point of eating? Like what would happen if I just went to the store and bought vitamins and supplements and ate those instead? Then my body wouldn't have to process all the food. I could give it the exact nutrients it needs. What would happen if I did that? Also, this could just be my eating disorder speaking.